Synchronous or parallel counters are known to be the fastest devices of the kind. The high speed is achieved by a substantial complication of the microchip's internal structure. This results in the fact that they are more difficult to control if compared to the asynchronous counters and serious carry synchronous counters. That's why synchronous counters should only be used in the cases when high performance and high digit switching speed is a must. Otherwise, the complication of the control circuit is just not worth it. Let's look at some circuit based on synchronous counters. The synchronous counters enable a rather simple implementation of a controlled frequency divider with a conversion factor set by an entry code. In the circuit, the carry signal CR produced by the senior counter is supplied to the right enable input EWR. The counters operate in the countdown mode. The zero level signal is supplied to the U slash D input. When all the counters reach the null code, a carry signal CR is generated, which switches the devices into the mode of concurrently writing the control code. The next positive edge of the clock, C, records the entry code in the counters. This results in a new count cycle from the entry code to zero. The next circuit, a generator of a time interval of the set duration, demonstrates how the output carry signal of synchronous counters should be used when required is a single operation cycle. The generator's operation is triggered by a short negative pulse start, which sets the control flip-flop to 1 and starts the input signal. The positive signal from the flip-flop outputs, which is the 8-digit synchronous counter from the concurrent write-down mode to the count mode on EWR input. The countdown is performed on the positive edge of the clock from the generator. When the count reaches zero, the next positive edge of the clock writes the carry signal CR into the flip-flop. This concludes the output signal and the counter switches to the concurrent write mode. The next operation cycle of the generator starts at the start signal. The use of synchronous counters can be associated with their ability to concurrently write on the clock edge. In the concurrent write mode, the counter is viewed as a register actuated by the clock edge. Due to this feature, when several counters are connected, the output code can be concurrently read from the outputs of the last senior counter in the circuit. The circuit's operation mode is determined by the control signal counter slash phase. When this signal is high, counters operate in the forward count mode based on the clock signal edge. When the signal is low, the counter switch to the concurrent count mode of a 12-digit counter and 4 digits of the counter on the right according to the pattern. The status of the senior counter is read first that of the junior one last. The output code is phased based on the positive edge of the clock. After three clock pulses, all three counters register the null code, which means that the circuit is ready for operation. The same concurrent rewrite of data from counter to counter enables recording of the initial state of several counters connected in series using four-digit entry codes. Prior to operation, the circuit is set to the concurrent write mode by the zero level of the count wire write signal. The four digit codes to be written into all the counters are in turn supplied to the input of the junior counter and then shifted in the direction of the senior counter based on the positive edge of the clock C. To write all the three counters, three clock pulses in a row need to be supplied. First, one needs to write the code designated to the senior counter 
and last that designated to the junior counter.